Hello viewers, here is a Sony computer. I believe that's supposed to say VIO. Anyways, this is a very small computer, it's probably only a 13 inch. The model number is SVE111B11L. This is a personal computer. Unfortunately, it's made in the China. I don't see a date code on here, but it does have the Windows 8, so it can't be that old. This is a relative's machine. He wanted to see if I could get it going again so that he could give it to somebody else, another relative who needs a computer. So here it is. Let's see what we can do with it. I haven't seen one of these Sony VIO computers, really any Sony computers in general, in quite a while. I used to see them from time to time when I first started working, but I haven't seen them in probably five years or more. Sony made really good cameras. The first digital or digitan camera that I had was a Sony from 2003 and it still works to this day so I've always liked their cameras my video camera that I'm recording this particular video with is also a Sony their computers I never really felt strongly about their computers either way they just seem kind of average to me this one has a lot of ports on it it's got the there's the power input VGA, HDMI, the fan, USB 2 and USB 3. And on the other side we have uh, audio in, audio out, USB. I believe that would be a Kensington lock of some kind, SD card reader, and an Ethernet. So despite being a pretty small computer, it really has a good assortment of ports. And I can't really think of anything else that I'd want to see on there. Let's take a look at the battery here which I suspect probably doesn't work anymore as it's been sitting out of charge for a while. Well, if I can even get it out of here it's... This, this I'm not quite sure if this is locked or if that's locked. I guess that's unlocked. Okay, there we go. Battery is a Sony battery. The lithium ions chemistry. And if this is made in the Japan. Oh, there we go. It's made in the Japan. Then maybe it does work. I don't know if this is an info lithium battery or not. The info lithium batteries that Sony made in like the early mid 2000s those were phenomenal those lasted forever okay it's plugged in the light is on we don't have oh there we go now we have a charging indicator let's see if this will power on here's the inside it's kinda dirty the VIO E series has a high definition web bra. And of course, it has to be the Energy Star. Alright, let's turn this thing on. Power light appears to have turned green. And it looks like it's going to do something at least. Has one of these high gloss screens, so there's going to be a reflection. OK, 
Okay, so it's set up under the user account of the individual that gave it to me. Now they said they didn't want any files that were on here. And I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to write to the drive at all or read what. Ugh. I'm getting confused or distracted because it looks like it has the Windows 10 on it. Anyways, what I was trying to say before I got distracted was that it doesn't matter if there's any documents on here or not because I'm going to change out the hard drive regardless. So we're not going to write over the drive and, and damage the, the contents. Now, of course, as is often the case with the Windows 10, the drive is just sitting at full utilization. And we have to open this horrible screen by going up like that. And I don't know what the password would be. It's not 1234, it's not blank. It's not 5555. So, I guess that's it. Unless this other account is blank. Is it 1234 on this account? No, it's not. Okay, so we can't... We can't get into it anyway, so that's fine. I'm just going to shut it down then. And now, I was going to put the Windows 7 on here because I think it's easiest to use. But now I'm wondering if, since it's had the Windows 10 on here, it may have the Digitan license ingrained into the motherboard and Perhaps we can just do that. Okay, so it's off again. So now, let's see. Oh, I want to check and see if the battery holds any charge. And the power light, the power button is not actually turning green. It's just intrinsically green. Okay, now. The hard drive, I suspect, I hope, is under here. So let's get this open and see what we can come up with. Okay, so here's the hard drive. It's a Hitachi hard drive. It is 750 gigabytes in size, but it's only the 5400 RPM style. It looks like the memory was upgraded at some point. This is a 2 gigabyte stick. Let's see what size this one is. It's a Corsair, and it doesn't say. Okay, so let's get this drive out of here. Only one of the two screws is, oh that screw is in the cabin. Okay, so both the screws are with us. There's a third screw over here. And this should go like that. So here's the information on the drive. It is from the 2012. That's oh, going on seven years old. It's not that old. So I bought a new solid state drive for it. This one is the Kingston brand, which was very highly rated, although I'm not that familiar with it. Admittedly, I thought it said Kensington, and then when it arrived, I said, oh, it's not Kensington at all. But that's fine. It seems like it's a decent product. This was only $30, and it's $240, which I don't quite understand why it's not, not $256, but anyways, it's 240 gigabytes, and the um, cost is only like $27, so that just goes to show how, how cheap storage has become, even the solid state storage. And I remember when these first came out, they were expensive, and now they're totally affordable. So let's get this drive opened and installed. Here's the drive. Very lightweight. So a metal. Seems to be just fine. 
So we have on this drive a caddy type thing, so we'll take that off and then we'll put the new drive into it. Okay, so that's not uh, it's not one piece. So that's going to sit like that. So I'm going to transfer that over to the new drive so I don't forget how that goes. Okay, this screw is no longer going in. I'm not quite sure what the problem is. Ah, the problem is user error. This screw is supposed to go here. It concludes the hard drive change out. So now I'm going to go and retrieve my Windows 10 installer and see if that'll work and see if there's a license dwelling within the machine that I don't have to get another one.